Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Hard West. Frazier as always and it's brought to you by Creative Forge Games and is published by Gap Gaptius Digital Entertainment. Screw that up. Anyway, what is Hard West Mindborn? Well, it's a turn-based strategy with a very sort of sinister, devilish twist. Um, there'll be at times where your character or the people you're fighting turn into like demons and have demonic powers and everything and there's some story going on. So. Right now the continue is a bit weird because what it does is actually redoes the mission you've just done. Which is just slightly odd, but um, we'll just head into options. The options are very nicely done, broke down. You've got, you know, always run setup stage, interface, you've got all this going on. Video, you've got all this going on. Very nicely. I'll just scroll down so you can see a bit more. Everything's set to high. Audio, everything's set like this. And controls, everything can be rebound as well, which is always really, really nice. Anyway, campaign. Right, I've done a few missions. But I say a few, I've redone these about 10 times because uh, the game is extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. This one here I spent about an hour doing and then died. Um, but I'll continue, I'll do this one and try and do it a bit uh, sort of cleaner, a bit better. You do get various abilities, mostly it revolves around guns until you sort of get taken over by a demon and whatnot. Um, so we'll take. We'll, Go with this, we'll go with this. The voiceover work, I must say, is outstandingly good in this game. It is superb, but we're just going to head into here. Matter of time, on the run from the evil Inquisitor, Cassandra lit, uh, lit out for Mexico. Once there, it would take charisma, an iron will, and a healthy dose of progenation to untangle the lies and deception that surround her. So let us just begin. The crowd jeered, the noose loomed closer, she didn't lose hope. Alright guys, I've just had to restart the game, reinstall the game and everything. It's, I don't know what it was, there's been no updates or anything. I'm guessing there's just a hiccup somewhere in my PC being a bit hateful. Um, but I've just started right here, it's right at the start of the mission. I paused it, probably missed a few pieces of dialogue. Um, like I, by pieces I mean like two words. I'm just going to resume, and you're going to hear some, some of the awesome voiceover work, and then we'll take it from there. And set her free. But first, they needed to distract the mob. Now, I have to admit, this game looks fantastic. The art style is really good. The mouse wheel allows you to scroll in and out. So if you're scrolling down, it's going to allow you to go down, push up, and allows you to go up. Now, it's probably noticed this game is very, very XCOM-ish. I.e. you've got the cover system, the way you take out stuff, you've got abilities going on. And basically, we have to save this woman before she's hung. Um, so we have to kill this guy, we have to kill all these guys with these two people. Um, this is a setup phase, basically we're allowed to do everything we can until we're detected. Now, we can actually subdue certain characters, like these fellas can be subdued before we actually do anything. But really, I'm just kind of going to jump out here just now. Um, can't go out this way, I want him to kind of run over there. He's going to get suspicious of me. Hello, just a random fellow jumping over here. Now here we do have the meters of the, this is your health bar, and then you've got action points as well. And we also have the degree of suspicion this character attracts. So if I just walk over here. I just love, like, the game looks really fantastic. It also does a sort of western style brilliantly. Like, really brilliantly. You get your butt out there. So this is we we have to have this fella here, Andrew Harden, survive, and she has to survive. Otherwise, we're gonna lose. And if I just put him over there, just casually walk over. Now what we can do is I can subdue him next round, but I'm gonna bring him round to a bit here. And the, the sound effects even for all the gunfire and everything sound fantastic. This game really does have sort of a really high quality, um, just everything to it. The graphics, the sound, the actual gameplay. Can I not subdue him? Bollocks. Okay. Fine. Fine. You want to be that way? We can be that way. I'm going to put you to... Actually, I might want to put you there. Just slightly in front, out of the range, and then we're going to subdue you. Stick it up! Thank you. I'm going to run him in there. Now this guy actually does have a needle bomb, 
which is really quite handy, I must admit. I'm just going to run him up to there. Right. He's got a timer on. Basically, after that timer, you will alert everybody. And then, ew, oh, hell breaks loose. Almost literally. Um, so we've got to stop the execution. If I put this nail bomb out there, can I capture? I'm fun! Oh, that was brilliant. That was a brilliant fight there. All right, so get rid of you. Nice. The effect, everything looked fantastic in this. Um, can we hit him from here? Cassandra oh, didn't nice. Know the names of her saviors, but there was no time for introductions. Get your butt down. The men who wanted her dead needed to be dealt with. Neither they nor their carrier pigeons could leave that town alive. Oh, hi oh crap. That's gonna hurt. Now the way the mechanics work apart from point blank range is the there is a luck system in the game. So if the cat if someone missed like this, as you saw there some minus luck. Basically it means if people continue to fire at her, then during that phase she'll lose more and more luck and potentially could be hit. Um you're not gonna use that, but you're gonna shoot him right there. Bye bye. And you're right there, so bye bye. Can she shoot you? Nice! That's probably the quickest I've ever done this. Like, uh, that area I took, like, usually a good 20 minutes to actually do. And I'm just gonna reload my weapon. So it's very sort of extremely similar mechanics to the way XCOM works. And I love XCOM. There is a superb series on the channel where I played Enemy Within, and I love it to bits. Um, we're just gonna... Uh, we'll just pass this turn, I think. Yep, just pass that. Right. So we gotta go kill the carrier pigeons. Um, can I bring you around here too? But the soundtrack is fantastic. The options are awesome. The controls are really easy to get used to. You know, you kind of point and click and you've got your selection of actions you can do. Um, your good health. Bring you over there. Okay. Dookie. Now, last time I did this, you did have to look for the key Cassandra to unlock the back the door, so... approach looked risky. She wondered if there was another way in. Let's get him up there. There was a back door, but it required a key. Let's go hunting the for the key, key then. Be somewhere nearby. I'm gonna head in there, get that. So we're gonna check all the registers to see if we can find the key. Let's go find find key first time, right? Find valuables, but no key. Oh, okay. Um, you are going to go in there and check that one. Apparently, you can't get in there. There we go. Yes, we found a key. That was quite handy. Get your butt back out there. Now you're going to notice where this game completely takes a turn soon. And it's fairly damn awesome. Um, it doesn't really tell you, like, there's no way to kind of trigger the event, like for your characters, because sometimes your characters can actually have it. Um, we're just going to go up here and do that. I'm um, going to make you reload. Now, you do have two guns for certain characters. She has only got a pistol. Pretty damn good pistol, I might admit and uh, fists, which are not really used that good for this. You get your butt in there. And she can put her butt in there. I also love the animation quality. Like, it is outstanding. Like, really is superb. The way the characters just run, the way they sort of interact with the environment. Don't really want to go out there. Want to click on him 
because I want to be able to... Now, you, if you fire your gun, it does use up all your action points, so it's best to kind of move and fire sort of thing. But I'm just going to use a medical bag right now. Cover a little bit of health. Also, there's chain kill, so if I kill people, I get, constantly get a new attack. But usually that involves killing the person. I uh, don't really want to stand out there. You go. Hello, fellas. Hello, gentlemen. Goodbye. And I missed. Dang it. Could she go there and shoot him? Yup. Goodbye. Nice. And there we go. Welcome to hell. This is the other part of Hard West where these guys are now demons. Because why the hell not? It seems like a completely logical sense. Now, if you are kind of like devilish and hellish creature, you recover health each turn, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Let's get you up there. And I really do love this game. What can I hit? Huh? Oh well. One pigeon down. You reload. Do I want to do a cone shot? No. I'm going to do one of these. Oh, nice. One down. It's very, very good there. Oh, there's one there. Okay, never mind. Hi. No, no. Hmm. She can't have it. She's not got any view on him. He... What does Andrew have? Dose of opium might be good. The dose of opium, you click. Uh, now, you don't get like hover over things, it's not going to tell you. You have to actually click it, and then it'll tell you. A powerful narcotic made from poppy head latex. Depilates. Depili depiliates. That word. Movement, but improves HP. And look! Um, we do want to reload. Can I hit you from here? No. Let's run over here. Still no view on him. Alright, so we'll do this. Now the camera moves very easily with Q and E. You also had the buttons up there, as you saw, you can actually rotate, don't hit him. And I'm using WSD to actually just move around the camera, and it's very, very nice. The camera just works. Like, it, it's very fluent. I want it. Uh, yeah, do it. Can I hit him yet? I could do a cone shot. It's not going to really do anything. I could switch weapons and try and ricochet. That's not probably not going to work. we try that. Nope. Never mind. You... This could be dangerous. Hello? Ah, crud. Um... Maybe put her upstairs. She might be able to shoot through that window at him. It's always quite tense. You're just like, please don't kill my guy. Ow. That hurt. She can't actually shoot that window. Hmm. And apparently I can't shoot him. If I come like here, can I then shoot him? 100%! Bob and Ed! Can she not shoot him? No. Ah, dang it. To get around to help him is going to be quite a challenge, so she may as well just go back to here. I'm going to use the dose of opium. Bring it on! Now this guy actually like oh dude, please don't have him. Ow. Okay then. Oh they're gonna go and pick on him, aren't they? No. Right, this guy can switch it up. Because he does have a fanning attack, which I can't use. God dang it. If I go here, can I then use it? Low AP, god dang it. Probably do nothing to him because he, he will recover that health. 
Let's get her out there, and Cassandra can probably shoot him. You get over there. Get back. Ooh, he's almost down. He's got one. Ow. Probably should go help him. Oh, crud. Ah, jeez. You get your butt in there. Because Cassandra actually does have a healing elixir, which she could uh, get next to him and use. So I do believe it has... Or not. You can't use... Ah, dang it. Well, that kind of backfired. Let's put you to... There. Don't kill him. Jeezo. Right, okay. You. Switch it up. Get out of here. And a miss. Brilliant. I want you behind that. Don't think you can actually. You could actually shoot one of them. Or not. That works too. Sandra can get here. And take a nice wee shot at him. Nice. Alright, their turn and he's gonna recover one health. So this is the thing, it's like you also do have one of the things where Andrew has died in one of the missions. It seems to be a breaking off path and it's all gonna kinda, kinda come together. Where the hell are you going? Okay, missed that. Take a shot. Okay, you missed that one. I want to try that. Now you can actually hit these behind the wee arrows, which will allow you to jump between each of them. I'm just going to try and take a shot at him. Nice. Kind of keep his health down so we can possibly kill him next time. That was too close. If he takes that shot at him, he may actually hit him because he's... Oh, he's locked really low. Did you stop firing at him? Nope. Okay. Get him this time. Nice. That's one almost dead. We need to reload this, aren't we? Let's hope I can hit him. Please hit him. Nice. Another one down. Don't have a good shot on him, but I'm gonna hide him behind there because I don't want him to die. And he's a wee bit too close to dying. I'm gonna get him to reload. She can not take a shot because she doesn't have any ammo. Reload that up. Now I have to admit, I've not found any qualms of this game, like anything I don't like. Um, when the game goes to this horror full of fine nightmarish thing, like the world changes, spikes grow out the ground, just cages of skeletons, the music's very eerie, there's ghoulish colours and everything going on, and then you saw the complete contrast to the sort of westerny world going on. It's amazing. Go, go, go. 100%. Come on. Nice. You should go there. Take another shot. Okay, missed. He will focus on hit him, so... Two shot. And another shot. Out of ammo. Never mind. You take a shot. You can't take a shot. Now, you can actually flip over tables, which is kind of quite handy. I'm going to flip this table, give him a bit of protection, there we go, take a shot, nice. You need to reload, how about you switch it up, and just fire at him. Oh dang. Still can't do that. Kill him! Or not. Maybe she can. Or at least reduce his... Come on. Reduces luck. 
One more, one more, one more, one more. Ow. Oh, he's gonna kill Andrew. Ah! No! <laughs> that was me basically getting a little bit carried away and dying. What I might try and do is show you another campaign mission if it decides to behave. So what we'll do is I'll quickly jump into this one and see if it continues. Um, like I said before, I don't know what it was to do with. Um, I restyled the game, the saves were still there and it was fine. So I don't know what that was Everywhere. to do with. Was barred. Or That's blocked. fine. Enemies positioned themselves outside the windows. You were as good as dead. Right, so basically, this is where we're surrounded and enemies are just coming in. So if we go this way, and flip this. Now, it very gruesomely starts off with the fact you're going on the hunt for your wife and because bandits take her and then they find her head just her head in a box and one of the the bandits kind of talking through his blood says he's you know he did it for the demon sort of thing and you see there that the gentleman that's talking the voiceover is uh, called death which is just lovely fun isn't it um can i shoot you no forward hello Her there. Now, you may be wondering, right, so how the hell do you defeat all these guys? With some severe skill? Or you die? I'm going to leave that question there while I finish playing this and you, you can see there's also a chicken out there. Um, how about move you up? Ow. That hurt. How about you don't do that? Um, he's way down there. Please don't shoot me. Please don't. Ow. Never mind. Eyes growing glassy as her soul slipped away. There's one thing is like your characters don't seem to have any counter going on, but that may be just because it's sort of slightly early ish in the game. Um, some of the videos show you that you're getting spells and everything, which is just nuts. Um, right, we can't do that. Yeah, so how about we come over here? I'll shoot you now? Nope. If I shoot these fellas out here. We'll just do that and see if we can shoot them. Nope, that went completely the opposite to Ray. They were revealed, mumble, mumble, whisper, whisper, ha ha! You're gonna shoot me in the head, aren't you? Nope, you missed. You gave your last breath. But on that breath, you pledged to him. You gave your soul for a shot at revenge. Trapped now the fun begins. life and death, you now belonged to neither realm. The coffin nails didn't hold fast. You were supposed to be dead, so no one took notice right away. So now you're the demon, the pretty much. Bring in more enemies, nah, we won't raise an alarm just bust. now, but we will up this way. You also get nightmare regeneration each time. I'm just going to come up here. And you know what? I'm just going to... Yeah, you, you stay subdued. While I run behind you. And kill you. Bye-bye. Now they're all going to be alerted now, so it's going to be their turn. Most of them, there's about five in here that we have to try and kill. 
Now I found the best sort of opportunity was going through the back door. Once the way out there. That's a little bit cheating. You should be able be able to shoot that far with a shotgun. Well, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> one by one they fall. So basically you're going to have to use your nightmare regeneration. Like you have passive abilities like that in order to be able to well, finish these guys off because there's a lot of them. Ow. Ah, we're out of ammo. Let's switch it up. Let's switch the weapon though. Low AP. Mm, okay, we'll just switch that back just now and take a pot shot at you. Goodbye. You did not die. All four of these guys are going to have a shot at me, aren't they? Ow. Guess what? I love that ability because it's just it's so like a western type thing. But it's just set in such a fantastically ghoulish, devilish game. It's really cool. We can also do it to him. Oh, one hit. So we he's got barely any health left. I'm going to switch it up to this and take a shot at you. Another one down. Three are still breathing. I love how it's like three still breathing. It's not like three enemies remain or anything. It's like they're remaining. Like breathing. But they won't be for long. Just gonna actually spend this turn chaining up my weapons. You can also hit, you know, you've got shortcut keys and everything and just want to reload everything so we're ready to go. You missed. Also, what the tables that I turned over when uh, before I died are actually still there. Let's get a button there. Low AP, so what we'll do is we'll switch it up to that. And we'll fire on you. And we missed. Ah well. These guys are both gonna just take pot shots at me. Are you wishing to or are you just gonna hang around? Nope, you're gonna do that. Ow. That hurt. Well, we hit him once. It's better than none at all. These guys don't regenerate during this phase, so... But it's intriguing just the, the sort of turn of events. Like, it can completely flip the game on you. Like, you saw the previous mission where we were like, Oh, doing really well. And then it flipped it. And then you had Nightmarish Demons. Although, I kind of got cocky at the end. And that's why we failed. Because if I would kept Andrew back and just killed the guy. Or ran up and killed the guy. Who would have won? You know? Oh, well. Do we have any bullets left? No, let's reload. I'm gonna come over here. Hello. Ow. Oh god, please tell me no. Oh no. This is terrible. Hard West lives up to his name. Never get gawky in the game. But guys, this has been Hard West, and I'm sorry I didn't really complete a level there, I have completed some. But the way you see the campaign kind of branches out, like this one you start from here and you're working your way back. And it's when you're working your way forward, so it's like interesting the way things are kind of happening and going on. So hopefully you'll pick it up and hopefully you'll maybe check it out. The Steam link is always down below, and thank you again for watching this Smash Look of Hard West, and I shall see you all in the next one.